What's up, lockdowners? Welcome to Tuesday's lesson for maths. We're coming to you from Liverpool College. I'm Mr. S. This is Mr. A. Hi. Before we start the maths lesson, what we always like to do is hand over to these people who take care of your feedback. The magic voices in the sky. Here you go. Let's have a look what you did yesterday. Let's take a look at some of your maths work then. First up, we've got this effort in from Alex who's in Liverpool, and his sister Olivia has also joined in too, and they had a nice relaxing time after all their work. Here's Arben, again working very hard on his maths, well done to you Arben. This is Chris, always looks very cool Chris, and he looks very pleased with his maths there, well done Chris. Here's Ella and Jack, who again have completed their maths work, lovely sunshine there. Katie, who wanted to let us all know she was using a ruler, and we appreciate that Katie, it looks very neat. Here's Lucy, who's really enjoying the, uh, the channel, thank you Lucy, good work from you. Here's Molly as well. This time she's not used a wheelie bin to display it, thankfully. Here's Noah in his Liverpool kit, showing off his maths work. Well done, Noah. And Oliver is doing the same thing, okay? Really proud of his maths work too. Well done, Oliver. And now this is really good. Look, here's J and F working on their maths work and dress like a princess, as you do when you're doing maths. Zach and Amaya have been working hard again. Amaya, once again, has been working on the year five and six stuff, even though she's only in year three. Very good, Amaya. And this is giving from Rajutha. We hope we're saying that right, in rugby. And she's been working really hard on her maths as well. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for your feedback. As ever, please keep sending them to us. Well, yesterday we looked at column addition. Okay, not audition, as we made the mistake yesterday, but addition, plus, sum, add, whatever you may call it, where we get two numbers, we put them together, and we see what their overall value is. And you are doing a formal written method to work that out. But today, we don't want you to do a written method. So we won't be needing our pens. Actually, oh. I'm, I'm going to be needing my pens. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I'm not using this at all. Oh, pen just hit me in the eye. Ooh. I think I've got appendicitis. Because a pen, this it, the site has got, no, forget it. So we're going to call this a level up lesson. So when you hear this noise, <laughs> It means you have leveled up to the next lesson. So we're not going to separate year three, four, five, six today. In fact, we're all going to walk through it. I'm doing this. Or jiggle through it together. So what you need to do straight away now is pause. Why are you keep asking to do this? I don't know. And go down to the link below to download the sheet ready. And you can start working through it as we go through the video. So every time we level up, there's a new level on the sheet that we want you to work through. Make sense? It will. So we're going to start first of all with some nice easy numbers. We're going to show you three sums on the board, which will not need any formal written method, will only need the mental capacity of your mind. Have a look at these sums. Now we don't need to use any formal method for these because we can work these out just in our minds as long as we know our number bonds. So here we can see in our ones column, we've got four ones here and zero ones there. So if we start there in our head, we know zero out of four is? Four. So we don't need to write it down to work out the calculations. We only need to write it down to show the answer. The ones, it's four. Then we've got two lots of 10, remember? We're talking about lots of 10 because they're in the tens. One lot of 10? Two lots of 10. They're in the tens place value. And we're adding another six lots of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six lots of 10. Add two lots of 10. Eight lots of 10. So that eight would go into our tens column and it has the value of 80. 84, didn't need to write anything down. And that process of just working through each column mentally is how we're gonna do it. Let's go. Zero add zero. And zero ones. One 10 add seven tens. Eight tens. Three lots of 100. There's no lots of 100, so three add nothing. Three. Easy, easy, easy. Only the tens are changing because we're only adding a lot of 10. Here we go. The ones won't change. Eight add zero. The tens will. Two lots of 10 add five lots of 10. Seven. The hundreds won't change because we're not adding anything, so it's still zero lots of 100. And the thousands, it's still going to be 2,000. So that is level one. Off you go on the sheet. There's a number of questions there where you're just changing the tens column. Goodbye. It's time to level up. <laughs> Welcome to level two. On this level, you are going to be doing some mental addition with a hundreds column changes. 
Welcome to level two. On this level, you're going to be adding with our changes in the hundreds column. Yes. So as you can see, the numbers we are adding have nothing in the ones, nothing in the tens, but they do have a value in the hundreds. So only our hundreds column will change. So we can do this mentally. Our ones, zero add zero, won't change. Our tens, four add nothing, that will remain as four. four. Now we come to our hundreds, two loss of hundred add two loss of hundred equals? Correct. Four lots of hundred. Didn't need to write anything down, we carry on. No lots of one add no lots of one? No lots of one. No lots of ten add six lots of ten? Six lots of ten. Stays in six. Hundreds, we've got a hundred here, so the hundreds are going to change. One lots of hundred add five lots of hundred? Six lots of a hundred. And three lots of thousands add no thousands? Three lots of a thousand. I am smashing this. Easy. Here we go again. No lots of one, add four lots of one. Four lots of one. No lots of ten, add five lots of ten. Five lots of ten. Two lots of a hundred. Two lots of a hundred, add six lots of a hundred. Eight lots of a hundred. And nothing in the thousands, add seven thousand. Equals seven thousand. So this time, have a look at the calculations. This time, only the hundreds will change. Level two, off you go. It's time to level up. Welcome to level three. Now, if you skipped level three and you haven't done level one or two, get back. Yeah, get allowed here yet. Download that sheet and make sure you complete the answers on level one and two. Get back. On level three, we're going to be adding in our heads, and this time the thousands column is going to change. Yeah, we can see here that we're only adding lots of a thousand. And straight away, from my number one knowledge, when I just look at all these thousands columns, I know I'm not going to have to regroup anything into the ten thousands columns, so these can be done mentally. Our ones aren't going to change. Zero add zero? Zero. Ten, zero add zero? Zero. Zero lots of ten. We're doing this every time. Four lots of hundred add zero lots of hundred? Four lots of a hundred. And finally, into the thousands, five lots of a thousand, add two lots of a thousand, seven thousands. It goes the same. Ones won't change. Tens won't change. The hundreds won't change. The thousands, six lots of a thousand, add one lots of a thousand, seven lots of a thousand. Again, the ones, tens, and hundreds won't change. But our thousands will. Three lots of a thousand, add five lots of a thousand, eight. So, on the sheet, down to level three, cho only changing the thousands, off you go. It's time to level up. <laughs> Welcome to level four. Now on this level, we are gonna be adding and we're gonna make changes to the hundreds and the tens, but as well, because it's level four, we're only gonna give you one example, and then you gotta go. It's getting harder. You've already done the skill of knowing how to change just the tens, or knowing how to change just the hundreds, you now just need to combine them. We can see our ones. There's nothing there. So zero add zero is? Zero. Our tens, we've done this. Three lots of 10 add four lots of 10 is? Seven lots of 10. Hundreds, two lots of hundreds add four lots of hundred? Six lots of hundred. And seven lots of a thousand add no thousands? Seven thousand. Again, we don't need to write this down because the numbers won't need regrouping. We won't have more than 10 lots of any of our place value columns. So on level four down below, there are a number of them down there where only the tens and the hundreds change. Can you go and find them and work them out mentally? Off you go. Now it's time to level up again. <laughs> Welcome to level five. You are nearly there, okay? Now on level five, we're gonna be changing all three columns, but you are not going to need to regroup one quick glance and knowing your number bombs will tell you we're not going to need to regroup. So we can still just do this mentally and just write down the answer. Let's have a look. Zero lots of one, add zero lots of one. Zero lots of one. Two lots of ten, add four lots of ten. Six lots of ten. One lot of a hundred, add four lots of a hundred. Yell it at us. Yep, wow. five lots of a hundred. And three lots of a thousand, add four lots of a thousand. Seven thousand. So that is what level five is. Looking at the columns and just knowing I'm adding the tens to the tens, the hundreds to the hundreds, the thousands to the thousands, there won't be any regrouping. I can figure these huge calculations out in my head. Off you go to level five. Right, well, we've, we've completed five levels, which means there's only one thing left, and that's the big scary boss. Time to level up. <laughs> right, welcome to the boss level. Level oh, six. Mate, 
I don't like the look of this one. I don't, I don't even want to. I don't even want to try. I'm not even gonna bother. No. So what we need you to do? We just. Go on. We need you to go down to level six. Have a look at the calculations, but we don't know if it's the thousands, hundreds, tens, the hundreds and tens, the tens and thousands, the hundreds and don't, thousands. Don't, don't. We don't know which column is going to change. Okay, it doesn't follow a pattern like the last few levels. It could be anything. So you need to look at those numbers and decide: is it this column that's changing? Is it that column that's changing? Is it both of these? Is it all of these? I don't know. Do you know what? Please just get on with it. If you did, if you manage to complete this sentence work, we're going to see you in the next video. Come don't, on. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm not sticking around.